Hallelujah to the Lamb. I'm Jeffrey A. Johnson, Sr. I'm the senior pastor of the Eastern Star Church in Indianapolis and in Fishers, Indiana. And I want, in these rough times, to bring a word of encouragement to you, this time out of the Gospel of John, chapter 5, verse 19. Then Jesus answered and said to them, Most assuredly, I say to you, the Son can do nothing of himself, but what he sees the Father do, for whatever he does, the Son also does in like manner. It was in 2007 that Layla Ali, the daughter of Muhammad Ali, following in the footsteps of her father as a boxer, was boxing against Gwendolyn O'Neill in South Africa. And even as they went to box and, and the fight uh, was getting ready to start, Layla Ali's corner people in her corner, just before the bell was to ring, looked her in the eye and said, there's a lot of people that don't want you to win. They want you to be defeated and they think you're going to be defeated because of who your father is. She's the daughter of Muhammad Ali. And her corner people said, but he's the greatest of all times. And since he's the greatest of all times, your father has passed that greatness on to you. And so now you cannot be beaten because of who your father is. And uh, Layla Ali, when the fight started, she knocked Gwendolyn O'Neill out in the first round in 56 seconds. After the fight was over, she's being interviewed by reporters. She apologized to then President Nelson Mandela and she apologizes to the fans. She said, I wanted to give them a few more rounds, but I didn't know how great I was. Sounding just like her father, Muhammad Ali. And here's what her corner people told her. People want you to lose because of who your father is, but you can't lose because of who your father is. He's the greatest of all times, and he's passed that greatness on to you. Yo, know, what God has done for us through his son is allowed his son in the presence of God's Holy Spirit to get in us. And he has passed his greatness on to us, our heavenly father, who's the greatest of all times, not boxing, but period. He's the Lord of Lords and he's the King of Kings and God cannot possibly be beaten. And he has placed his presence in us. So no matter who wants us to be defeated, no matter what it looks like, we're going to overcome. And I hope that you realize how great you really are. Let us pray. Father, thank you for the greatness that you've placed in us through your son, Jesus Christ, through the power of your Holy Spirit. And now, dear God, I pray that you will empower your sons and daughters to get the victories that they need to have during these times. And I believe it done in Jesus' name. Amen.